to 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 What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, you've been missing out on so much. Um, so I would recommend you hit that subscribe button and maybe at the end of this video, give us a fat thumbs up, put on your uh, bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Now for today's video, I've got a pretty cool bike. It's a very, very nice budget bike from Merida. I'm pretty sure as you can see on the title of this video, what bike it is. But I'm gonna unbox this bike. I'm gonna show you guys the specs on the bike, obviously the weight and uh, my likes and dislikes. Now before we get into this video, this is not a paid ad or endorsement or anything. Super cool bike inside the store and as you guys know me, I'll just share it, uh, share it with you guys. Oh I like it. I like it a lot. It's a quick view so far. Let's continue. All right, guys, I actually talk about this quite a lot when I'm uh, servicing a BB or doing any videos on BBs. Um, just remember when building your bike, you do get this little space here. It goes on your drive side on the DU, uh, DUB or DUB um, bottom brackets. And you'll see there's a small little groove there on the, the BB, if it will just focus a bit. Now, this actually just clips in there quite nicely. Um, but just remember it comes on your, it goes onto the drive side, um, in other words that's where the gear is. So make sure you put this in and this helps to um, correct the spacing on your crank and on the BB. Um, if you don't know about that, just go check one of my uh, videos. I do talk about that, um, you'll find it there, how important the spacing is um, on your BB. I actually talk about it on my specialized bike, uh, where I bought my specialized SWXLS road bike. So just make sure you put this on the drive side uh, of your BB. So yeah, let's do this. All right, so the bike's built. It's super cold inside the store. I'm pretty sure you can see how I'm shaking the camera like six or seven degrees inside my store Celsius and um, I'm quite pleased with this bike I'm going to do some b-roll on the bike real quick and then I'll show you guys the things that I do like there's a few things I don't like and then we'll weigh the bike let's do this Not a paid ad or endorsement or anything it's just a cool bike inside the store and i'm showing it to you guys and i'm giving you my honest opinion on this so first off the color of the bike super super cool 
and then they're running the Maxxis Icon tires on here, uh, 2.20 front and rear. So you can make that tubeless already. It's got a 12-speed Tram SX group set on here. And what's nice about this, they actually put on the dub um, crank set here. So you can upgrade this to a newer carbon crank and so on with all the new technology and specs of the cranks. They've got carbon, uh, uh, sorry, Alex Rams, Comp CC aluminium wheels on here. Super, super cool. And um, they've got a Suntour SR Suntour a suspension on here so it's very nice you can pump this according to your weight and um, they've got a mechanical lockout here which is very very nice uh, remote but it's mechanical very nice i enjoy the cable lockouts on the bikes like i've said previously they've got some merida comp bar stem and seat post on here and then they've got a merida expert um, handlebar on here which is very very nice and then once again the ishimano brakes i really like them how small they are here um, I see these are a bit shorter than I remember, so they might have worked on these, made them a bit shorter because they were quite long in the beginning. Um, very, very nice. So that's all the things I like on this bike. It's got tubeless ready wheels, it's got air suspension, super nice Shimano uh, brakes on here. It's got your dub crank set, which is a very nice plus point for me on this bike. SRAM SX, you guys know I'm a SRAM fanboy. There's just one thing that I might have changed on this bike when releasing it. I mean, there's so many people that buy a bike and then they want to start out with the normal pedals, riding with tackies and so on, just to get used to the bike. And uh, I must say, these pedals on here, they're super, super, well, I wouldn't say it's strong, but it's plastic pedals. Uh, and they're quite small. It's, it's a very small pedal, so it looks like it shouldn't be with this bike. So I'm, I, I might have just put on a nice set of metal pedals or even just one of the metal um, plates on the edge would have been better but these are especially for the price point on this bike i think this would have been just a little bit better upgrade on the bike but needless to say for the perfect bike so yeah it's got an aluminium frame 606 one aluminium frame from merida and um, now i'm going to quickly weigh the bike very cool seat uh, i really like the designs on the merida bikes they really go a step further and they think a bit further when building their bikes so yeah very cool bike 12 speed group set and let's weigh the bike real quick I don't think this is bad for an aluminium bike, 29er. Um, we still need to do the tubeless, so it might add about 100 grams or so. But 12.5552, let's say around about 12.55 kilograms for this bike. It's very, very cool. And then another thing I just saw as well, it's got a category 3 rating for the XC riding and trail riding on this bike. Nice compact geometry frame, super cool bike. Um, I think this bike gets a fat thumbs up from me. Um, well done, Marita. Now, yeah, let's do some motivation as always. I started to record my motivation as I always do. And my phone started flashing here at the bottom. It says about 16 seconds worth of recording time left, uh, space on the phone. And as I was talking, I thought I need to talk quickly because my space is going to run out. And then it just ran out. And I had to stop recording, stop doing what I'm doing, and I had to go and empty. My phone a bit into the recycle bin and i think i want to encourage you guys don't take all your sad emotions and just keep on pushing them down and and just putting them aside i think deal with things and empty your recycle bin into your memory space free up space so you can put in positive things and uh, create a positive vibe inside your memory and in your inner space and I know it sounds funny, but just get the negative things out or the things filling you up that's unnecessary. And then you can always fill them with positive things and positive thinking. Be strong, stay safe, and never say never.